speaking with William Johnson from Lithium Energy this morning on Just Talks. William, great to see you. Andrew, good morning. A significant development you've announced here for Lithium Energy with the uh, the sale of the SolarOS Lithium project. $97 million, the headline figure. Uh, just tell us a bit more about the deal. Yeah, it's very significant for the company, um, Andrew, and it's been a long time coming. We've, um, we started this process um, over six months ago, um, and initially the objective was to find a strategic partner to invest alongside us into the project. Um, and um, you know, we approached a number of uh, companies, typically some, and, and which included some of the world's largest uh, battery uh, manufacturers, um, many of which were out of China. Um, and these are the ones that um, ultimately sort of um, showed the most interest and um, you know, after a couple of months, we put together a bit of a short list, uh, invited uh, the companies to come visit the site. And you know, over the last couple of months, we've been negotiating with a number of these parties. We had a formal competitive bidding process, and the end result was um, the company CNGR um, won out. Um, you know, they're one of the largest manufacturers of um, of uh, battery uh, tertiary anode material, which is basically the material that goes into to making anodes. Um, they've been actively looking for uh, or to secure long-term supplies or strategic supplies of lithium to um, put into their manufacturing process. And, um, you know, they liked Argentina, they loved our project. And even though initially we just wanted them to come in and invest in it, the project, they loved it so much, they said, hey, can we buy the whole thing? So we yeah. said, well, make us an offer we can't refuse. And, and here we are. So, so yeah, so um, it's, a, it's a great deal for the company, $97 million. And... Um, our focus going forward now is to ensure that the sale completes. Um, it's a process that is going to take um, several months because um, we need to obviously get our shareholders to approve the deal. Um, there are some regulatory approvals that they need to go through in China, which can take a couple of months. And then um, uh, one of the conditions of the deal also is that we continue advancing with and secure some environmental approvals uh, basically, these are um, submissions that we've already made to the local government to allow us to continue with drilling and exploration activities. Those are currently being reviewed by the Argentinian local local provincial government. So we expect those to be concluded within three to four months. So if all things go well, uh, the deal could be completed and we could get paid within, say, four months. It, it may take a bit longer, but um, we are hoping we can get it concluded um, in that sort of timetable and um, you know, our team on the ground is continuing to sort of work to uh, advance all those local activities to to get those conditions fulfilled. And you feel this deal reflects a significant uplift in value since you first listed? Absolutely. I mean, look, we listed the company at um, uh, back in uh, May 2021 at 20 cents. Um, you know the the see through value of this uh, this deal. Um, not you know ignoring tax effects and so on. Um, you know is sort of I think uh, between eighty and ninety cents a share. So it's a fivefold increase um, since IPO. So I think that's a, a great outcome for for shareholders and certainly the feedback that I've received um, over the last day or so from shareholders has been very very positive. So so um, yeah, it's a great um, reflection of the value that we've managed to add to this project. I mean when we took it on. Um, there'd been um, no exploration done on the project. You know, we've, um, you know, we spent several years uh, doing a lot of um, groundwork, uh, geophysics, uh, a lot of drilling on the project to add value. We defined a significant maiden jork resource. We did a scoping study, and all that has added considerable value to the project, which, um, which obviously got the attention of these these major battery players. So um, it's all worked out really well. Well, I suppose, William, that begs the question with the sale of SolarOS, and of course, you're you're looking to spin out your graphite project. Uh, what's the future looking like for lithium energy? Yeah, well, look, that's a really good question because um, obviously, as well as lithium, we uh, we have our graphite asset, um, but we did announce recently um, that we've uh, signed a deal with with uh, Novonics, which holds the other half of our graphite. Um, of the graphite deposit in Queensland to basically merge um, their half with ours and then spin that out into a, a new IPO, which we're hoping to um, proceed with over the, the coming months. And that's a, um, a, going to be a fantastic opportunity for both companies. It just makes so much sense um, to combine these two assets um, into one 
big, high quality graphite asset and uh, you know, the opportunities to take that asset and build a vertically integrated uh, battery and material company right here in Australia is just tremendous. So we're very excited about that opportunity. But you're right, where does that leave lithium energy? Well, um, you know, we've got a big war chest of cash in it and we're going to be actively looking for um, new investments to um, to apply that cash towards. And, you know, we're a battery minerals company. We still love the battery minerals space. So we're going to be very actively looking for new opportunities in that space over the coming months. Uh, good to catch up, William. Thanks for your time. Andrew, thank you very much.